In step five of exercise number eight, the following actions have to be implemented to define the first part of finishing the mold core with the HSM module. The HSM combined constant Z with a linear machining strategy is used to perform the finished machining of the sloped surfaces. Later, an HSM rest machining operation is used to perform finishing in these tight corners of the model. As you will see, the HSM module offers the finest finished toolpaths currently available for 3D machining. First, you have to add an HSM operation to the CAM part. In the Solid CAM Manager, right click the Operations header and choose HSM from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The HSM Operation dialog box is displayed. This dialog box enables you to select from a list of available 3D high-speed machining strategies, which defines the technology that will be used for the machining. In the Technology section, click the drop-down menu and choose Linear Machining from the Combined Constant Z with submenu. SolidCam enables you to combine the Constant Z and Linear Machining strategies in a single HSM operation. These strategies share the geometry, tool, and constraint boundaries data. However, the technological parameters for the passes calculation and linking are defined separately for each strategy. Similarly to iMachining 3D, at the geometry definition stage, you have to specify the 3D model geometry that needs to be machined. By default, the solid model of the target is automatically selected. For more information on the geometry definition in an HSM operation, refer to the SolidCam milling help. Following the geometry definition, you have to choose a cutting tool from the part tool table or define a new one that will be used for the operation. In this case, you will have to define a new tool. Switch to the tool page and click the select button to display the part tool table. Currently, there are two tools available for use to machine this cam part. For this operation, a suitable finishing tool must be defined. Click the Add Milling Tool button and select Ball Nose Mill from the list. Under the Topology tab, set the diameter value to 6.25 mm. Keep the default remaining tool parameters, but change the number of flutes to 4. Next, switch to the Tool Data tab. This tab enables you to define the default feed and spin data, as well as the offsets parameters for the selected tool. For feed XY, enter a value of 3500 mm per minute. For feed Z, enter a value of 300 mm per minute. For spin rate, enter a value of 8000 RPMs. Click the select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the part tool table. When this tool is chosen for the operation, SolidCam transfers the default tool data to the data tab of the tool page. When G-code is generated, these values are written to the G-code file. For more information on the tool definition, refer to the SolidCam milling help. To start the next step of definition, switch to the Constraint Boundaries page. This page enables you to limit the operation machining to specific model areas. Machining always takes place within a boundary or set of boundaries. The boundaries define the limits of the tooltip motion. The area actually machined can be extended beyond the boundary by as much as the tool shaft radius, plus an offset value if desired. Use the default option of Created Automatically for the boundary type. This option enables you to automatically create the boundary using the stock or target models. For this operation, click the drop-down menu and choose the Auto-Created Outer Silhouette Type. The boundary name is given to the geometry according to the type of boundary. By clicking the Show button, you will see that SolidCam automatically generates an outer silhouette boundary of the target model. In this case, it is a projection of only the outer contours onto the XY plane. Chain 1 appears in the chain list. Click OK to exit the Select Chain dialog box. 
In the boundary tool relation area, you can control how the tool is positioned relative to the boundary. Choose external from the drop down menu and then click the show button. This option extends the boundary by half the tool diameter so that the tool is able to fully machine the areas along the boundary. Click Cancel to exit the Constraint Boundaries dialog box. For more information on the boundaries definition, refer to the SolidCam milling help. At this stage, the geometry, tool, and constraint boundaries data are defined for the operation.